Day 1 Yesterday, I successfully landed the ship. We owe our ancestors a great deal. They were pioneers, visionaries. <laughs> Their virtues of determination, progress and compassion live on in the many colonies of the Federation, including my own. And yet the reason for their downfall remains a mystery. What tragedy befell them? It's been 500 years since we lost contact with Earth, and I think we owe it to them to find out what happened. Day 2. This place is not quite the paradise we heard about in legends. Soil toxicity is high, and while the atmosphere is breathable, carbon dioxide and monoxide levels are dangerous to any life form without a regen chamber. UV radiation is also much higher than anticipated, which points to a damaged ozone layer. Day 3. Today I found my first skeleton. Not human, but fish. Its presence in this area indicates a rapid change in sea levels. But what was most interesting was what was in its stomach. It appears to be some kind of basic hydrocarbon polymer. Only a human could have made it. So what was it doing in the sea? Day 4. Dust storms and lethal winds meant I couldn't go outside today. The weather patterns here are unstable and volatile. Day 5. Today I found my first human bone, but it was much smaller than expected. Toxicology indicates lethal levels of sulfur dioxide and numerous carcinogens, but the most likely cause of death was some kind of lung infection. What kind of poisonous world did these people live on? They ruined it. They had paradise here, and they destroyed it. We look up to our ancestors, but we have to learn from them. Captain Alster Raylon, 